morning. We are starting off the vlog. We got the Texas boys. We added Grant. This thing just got put together. We are here at round two and three of Jacksonville. It looks like it's going to be just round two because three looks like it's going to be a wash. Uh, I thought they could do it just all in one day, but today's format is going to be a long day. We got warm up, qualifying, pre final, final. That stops Saturday. We're going to go directly into qualifying for Sunday. I'm only using one set of tires, okay? I'm just not going to throw money at it. So Todd will probably win master second day. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Been a little sick. <coughs> And then, um, yep, call day. I'm probably not even going to uh, uh, race tomorrow. I'm just going to pack it up today. The weather looks horrible. Uh, I've been sick. I'm not going to race to get sicker. Uh, but it's going to be a good event. We're going to go to pre-tech. Uh, hopefully make it the whole day. And then uh, pack up and then uh, watch these kids do it all over again tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Appreciate the support. Let's see how everybody does under the tent. Uh, Miguel had to go to a funeral, so he will not be here. Chris is just on the other side. He did well yesterday practicing. Mikey tore up a chassis. Bryce did well, and Kelvin found a speed. So, other than that, no issues. And that thing has not been on track. Oh, and I gotta thank Jamie McGar McMark McArthur. Oh my God! If I butcher your name, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll fix it. He's let me try out uh, one of his engines, uh, Maxim Motorsports. I think I said the name right. If not, I'll get all the information linking down below. I do like the logo. The logo is pretty badass. So hopefully it's fast. If not, the logo looks good. I'll let you know by the end of the video. And no, Mike's not here. He's too big for us. He's on the two-stroke world life now. So, Other than that, we're all good to go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll shut up now. <laughs> so during warm up, um, cart felt pretty good. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I was kind of worried. I was really worried, but you know, cart felt really good. Um, very, very quick on the steering. So that's something I like. It took a second to get used to, but motor felt great. Cart was rolling. I don't know how old these tires were, but uh, through the bowl cart felt like it was flying through the bowl and then during the race you can see how much quicker the cart is through the bowl um just in the mini bowl i, I had an issue turning uh right so i had to wait on the gas a long time and use a little bit of brake uh, so that was the only part that i really had a problem with because uh any other right hander i could just uh you know dab the brake get the cart get the rear to step out a little bit and then step on the gas and go um it was just a mini bowl um, other than that cart was I mean I was I was extremely surprised and happy uh, cart felt great it felt great all weekend um, just working on it figuring things out uh, I really enjoyed it I had a blast with it uh, thanks for Mikey for helping me out because I made him change all of uh, a whole bunch of things we just played around with the axes a lot but other than that uh, cart felt great super happy with it and to be honest I had some speed. I was scared. I had some speed. So, uh, practice in the books. We're all swapping over. I'm actually going to driver's meeting, even though I don't have time to do a three-hour driver's meeting and then run over and get ready for qualifying. But they're going to do roll call and a whole bunch of BS. And it's better to be over there. Um, maybe if they start in the loudspeaker and they go through it quickly, it won't be so bad. But... You know like our tent we don't have mechanics work on the car so take that into consideration next time because you guys put driver's meeting and then directly after we're going to run into qualifying with no brake so you know think about it so you're just going to send it uh practice went well i really enjoyed how the cart handled only in the mini bowl area i had a little issue uh chris let me borrow some practice tires so i don't know how old those are um put some race tires on no changes and then uh have fun go from there seven tenths off the leader Gotta find seven tenths. That's basically it. And I still gotta do a gear change. I might just winter roll call and then sneak out and finish what I gotta do because I'm not gonna have time. 
on to qualifying no changes i said okay maybe the tires uh helped me turn right um right off the bat that was not the case <laughs> it, it was still a little difficult to turn right but i got a, a pretty good run uh, I didn't make any massive mistakes. Uh, I didn't uh, go up on gearing, which probably hurt me for qualifying because this is a track that you should probably go up on gearing uh, for quality and then drop the gearing for the race. So right now I'm on a pretty low 333. Uh, I thought everybody was running that. Uh, I usually run 340, but you know, uh, I was kind of worried about it. I decided to go up on gearing for the race. So I did ask backwards this time, but it worked out all in the end. Um, but the new tires did not fix the issue. So we're going to keep grinding away at it and uh, keep figuring things out. Uh, I thought I could get a really good tow, but I made the mistake on turn one. Um, just watching the front end wash out. If I could have nailed turn one, I could have gotten a much better run through the chicane. And probably had a pretty good tow and the gearing would have worked out in my favor. So um, I did it backwards this time. Uh, I usually run uh, a high gear. But this time I ran a, a lower gear because I thought I could carry it because I was carrying so much speed to this bowl, as you can see. But then I was losing in the mini bowl. So it was, you know, up and down the whole whole day. Uh, overall, super happy. Even though I didn't qualify well, P15, um, I can't race from there. You still got pre final final. And nothing matters until finals. All right, on to the finals. This time we get a decent start. Uh, we didn't have to do uh, any, uh, you know, wave arounds like later on so uh we get a good start they start taking off and i'm like what the heck is happening so they gun it i gun it and the green flag goes so i fall back pretty far I'm not gonna lie uh didn't have many places to lose so that's good uh but then after that it was like we need to get going it's time to go to the front because i have to make up some spots at least the goal is to finish in the top 10 so um jason opened up the door and uh, basically I pushed Kevin right through um, I was having issues with that mini bowl still that right-hander uh, we did do a change to the chassis we uh, just swapped an axle to see if uh, I can get to a right-hander better um, but it helped a little bit but not as much as I wanted to so uh, through the chicane portion it wasn't that big of a push on the right left cart turned fine um, as you can see here, I'm just going to run out of gear early because I went up on teeth. So that was my mistake. I went from 333 to 340. Uh, but here in the bowl, it, the cart just accelerates even more. Like the changes that we did, it just goes to a bowl. It's just this mini bowl. It drove me nuts all day until I figured it out. And other than that, cart, super happy with it. Uh, Kevin makes a move. I was going to stick my nose in there, but thought better of it from the trip uh, from 7-7 uh james perkin gets caught up in a uh, little scuffle there i go through on the 7-7 and then for the rest of the race perkins uh push me out of the mini bowl which i need help so you see 7-7 wash up and i just keep it down low on the bottom get a good run uh he sends it in on me again and then i decided to send it back in on him uh and then uh, get the pass done but and right there right when i bobbled every time i bobbled Perkins was hitting me out the back. Uh, the front group gets away from a little bit, but then uh, able to run them down pretty quickly. And it was really from the chicane to the bowl. Uh, Kurt was just rolling really well. Uh, decided to send it in on uh, Kevin. Um, went down the inside, and the next person would be Ron. Um, just Kurt was, you know, I was able to put the cart where I wanted to uh, most of the time. Um, I think if I would have not messed up the gearing, it could have gone quicker because I know uh, Perkins helped me out a lot down the straightaway as well because I would run out of gear and then he would just give me a little bump towards the end and definitely a, a bump out of the uh, mini bowl. Um, but here, again, you're going to see the cart just roll through the big big bowl really well, really easily. And I'm trying to think how quickly can I catch up. If I get here quick enough, I'm going to make a move right away. So I catch up the Ron really quick and make a move right to the inside. Um, I'm already at the corner. I've had an issue turning. He stayed on the outside and it went off the track. But I was already there. If it was me, I would have backed off of it, especially the moment I see someone in here on the inside of that mini bowl. Just because I know that's a high risk move um high risk high reward so uh like right here i you know get up on the 28's rear bumper um i'm just running on his bumper give him a little tap 
and then I think I had a good run coming out of this corner and I'm mowing and I decided to make a move on the outside uh, ate some of the grass he does a really good job keeping it I send it in on the inside and then he comes back around on me it was a really good battle for sure uh, he had a much much lower gear than I did uh, but it was a really good run uh, Kevin's gonna get around me here in a second He's just going to go on my inside and just drive right around me. Uh, he hung around right on my backside. He gets a really good run on the inside. Um, slide, try to slide right back in, in with him. And then I didn't think about making a move here. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I just finished in the position I was at. Lost one spot from 15th to 9th. Super happy. Even though I lost a ton of spots at the beginning of the race. That hurt. Now Saturday's final, I don't know how many dang restarts we had to do, but up front they are playing dilly dally. The inside rider would go, stop, go, stop, go, stop. I'm like, holy crap, pick up your, make your mind. The inside road was pissing me off. So the person in front was just driving me nuts. And at that point in time, I had burned the clutch. Literally, the clutch was gone. <laughs> so I take off and clutch smoking I could feel it slipping uh, coming out of the mini and then high rpm so it was, it was not happy she was not happy clutch at all but the handling of cart got better with the actual change we did again so we were definitely making moves and progress even though I lost like three spots at the beginning of the race things were going forward now I decided to drop a gear go to 333 my buddy Perkins went up a to the 340 because after the race I told him I had more teeth, that's how I usually run it. Um, he would catch me at the end of the straight, he'd just give me a little bump. So I was like, screw it, that's just, just the way it's gonna run. He ended up going up. The 28 can see has a lot more top end speed than both than myself. Even though I was 333, he was probably a little lower, or his rim diameter just changed the circumference a little bit. So he might have been half an hour, half a mile an hour faster which uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot. As you can see there at the end, it gets like a little burst of speed. Um, but coming out of the tight section, it was a, it was a little slower. And uh, just getting through this section, I just, the, the cart was really loose at the beginning of the run. And then when the cart tires started to come in, the cart felt way better. Perkins went flying. He helped me out in the last race. So I'm gonna pick him up here, uh, make sure I give him a good bump. And then for the rest of the race, I'm not leaving his back bumper. Uh, I'm just gonna stay right on his back bumper and push the whole time. Uh, two carts are better than one. Um, definitely my cart was quick, but not the fastest. And I know I could work with him. I was still struggling in the mini bowl. And uh, I know I could work with him to move forward. So my whole goal was to stay on his back bumper and work with him. Plus with the clutch being uh, a little burnt up, um, coming out of the mini bowl, it was slipping a little bit. Uh, it was locking up towards the higher RPMs, but the mini bowl, the, you can hear the engine run up and uh, I wasn't moving any faster. So it would slip, then grab it and then go. But uh, here with the gear change, I was able to stick on his back bumper and push him the rest of the race. Uh, good working with him, love racing with him. He's such a great guy. Um, love it every time I'm on track with him. Um, he's a great driver. He's it's kind of crazy at times. You'll be like, all right, let's be smart out there. Let's use our head. And next thing he takes off and like passing, I don't know how many people. I'm like, oh my God, it's just practice, James. But uh, no, great guy. Love him to death. It was a really good run. Uh, super happy to see him on the MGM. Um, Jed's been struggling on it a little bit, but he's going to get it figured out. James did a really good job on it. Um, and then right here, we're just trying to mow down. He points to me. I just can't get to his back bumper quick enough. Um, he's on his toe and then finally when I get there it's just not enough to get him by him at that point in time so I was trying to help out but at the same time I just would nail the corner and sometimes I wouldn't and then right there that inside move man that took some nuts from now on his nickname is James Big Balls Perkins because that move was a, was a pretty dang nice move that was a sweet move uh, coming here to white flag I'm running right behind the 99 um, get a good run out of this uh, turn one and then I'm going to get a decent run, run out of the, the chicane but 
I was just not able to get close enough to him. I didn't know if he had maybe a little bit lower than I did, but I just could not get to him. Now I stay low though. He opens up for the corner. I stay low on the bottom and then I just run out of room. It was my mistake. Uh, you know, I should never shove my nose in there that hard. Uh, I let him back by, I pointed him by, and then he ends up uh, pointing me by as well. So uh, just racing incident there. I shouldn't have my nose in that deep, but uh, I was already in it to win it. So you know how it is. Uh, P10 in the end, super happy. Woo! All right, guys, sorry for the lack of vlogging. I've uh, been working on the cart a lot. Um, I asked Paul to do something for me. He did it. We're just trying to get it dialed in. Um, just having issues turning right. So that's what we've been working on. Qualifying didn't go well at the P15. Uh, Pre-final went pretty well, 15 to 9. I just cannot turn right on the mini wall. Um, you know, made some, some passes. Got through some areas. And then the final, I decided to stick right behind Perkins and push him because I didn't want to leave him hang to dry. He did a gear change. We just swip swap gears. Um, but the cart was fast. That's the thing. I'm having issues turning right and the cart's fast. So we checked the cross on it. Cross is, it was off. So we adjusted for it. And hopefully it helps it turn right. If it does, I think we found something pretty damn good. Um, finished P10 in the finals for the first uh, race. Now we're about to qualify for Sunday tonight and do heat one tonight as well for Sunday. So still working on the cart. Happy, thanks to Mikey for everything. Uh, P3. And uh, senior heavy Kelvin went from 19th to 11th, and uh, light uh, Bryce went from the back to 9th. Everybody else is doing great. Grant had a wonderful time here. He's packing up, he's hanging home. Weather doesn't look good. I'm packing up as well because most likely I won't be racing tomorrow. Uh, been sick, I don't want to get sicker. But uh, thanks for the event. Let's keep going after it. We'll give you a report of after qualifying, see if the changes actually helped or didn't help. All right, on to qualifying. I didn't have any extra pads with me uh, for my clutch, so I'm running with a smoke clutch at this point in time. It is hurting me coming out of the mini mold pretty hard, but the cross fixed the issue. The cart turns right and left. And man, even with the clutch burnt up, it was, it was rolling. The cart was rolling. Um, it does not show the speed of the car at all, but the cart was fast. I was super happy with the whole uh, setup and everything we did. It was just exactly what I was looking for. Super happy with everything. Um, it was just, now I, I have a clutch problem. <laughs> and next time I won't forget my little clutch box with all my pads. That's the only thing I had to, you know, fix. Other than that, qualified not too bad the little games up front this is the third time that we had to go around for the start it should have been two times and swap the front row that's what should have happened but they didn't swap the front row i'm not sure it's because captain favor was up there but not but at this point in time clutch is completely toasted um i'm getting shoved behind uh trying to go forward um i'm thinking about making it three wide didn't think of it and then from here i'm just trying to move up as much as possible um, it's just really bad. Uh, then I get a pretty good exit here. Kevin gets a really good exit and I go on the inside. Uh, I'm still getting pushed cause I'm not going anywhere to be honest. The cart's not moving forward. And then, uh, the 99 makes a slight mistake, spins out in front of us, um, lock it up. And that's the end of the day. Um, cart was great. Super happy with it all. Uh, just smoked the clutch. Really didn't get to show the speed of it in the end which really sucked because I thought we found something amazing there at the end. Um, I tried to do a couple extra laps, but then the clutch was uh, burning up on the top end. So they would do 5,700 RPMs and like peg out the rev limiter. So uh, pulled it in, caught it a day. Um, overall, good weekend, good test session. Super happy with everything that we found. Super happy with all the changes. And yeah, cross made a difference. That was the golden key. Uh, gotta thank Smoker Gears, MGM, uh, Maxim Motors, uh, CR Custom Helmets, Podium Products, everybody that helps me out. Um, can't thank you guys enough. Had a blast. Good run. 
just dang those starts just killed it if it's two restarts swap the front row okay because they're just stopping and going stopping and going and burning up the clutches that's all they're doing that's all well <clears throat> qualifying <clears throat> qualifying went well p10 cart handled much better we all the changes we did worked and then in the finals for my my finals it felt great for the first two turns and then no cart felt amazing uh, i just smoked the clutch at the beginning and then uh someone didn't move into turn one spun out i looped it around myself and that was the end of the race um i had a blast there was a good race in the end weather's coming in so i packed all my stuff up the texas boys had their stuff covered up um basically that's it for us thanks for watching guys uh hope to catch you on the next one love you guys can't wait thanks for coming up thanks for saying hey thanks for hanging out thanks for putting up with our bullshit there's pops i don't know where miguel's at he might be a little butt hurt uh other than that catch you guys on track next time